when the numbers are rolling up there. Okay, I got a thumbs up. So your question was, uh, when can a service learning project, or any project really, a 10 point posting or any project, when could it apply to more than one class? Right. Right, do I understand it? Yes. If you really work smarter and not harder, which is what I want you to do, and you, you've done a lot of that. I mean, you've you know, you got all A's so far, so you've been doing it, right? That's right. Okay, so that first meeting we had, I hope it helped. It was great. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, some folks need live meetings. This face-to-face, -face because communication happens. You say something, I hear it. If I misperceive it and answer anything but what your quest question really was, then you can ask it again or say, no, wait, 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 you misunderstood my question. You can't do that in emails. Mm -hmm. So this is a good way for us to do this. That's one of the limitations. You know, they call it synchronous versus asynchronous communication, right? When it's in time and when it's not at the same time. Yeah. So one of the weaknesses of the discussion board postings, even though we're all trying to help each other to do our best work, I only try to make comments that are helpful. Your fellow scholars in the class, they make little suggestions that are helpful. But sometimes, I mean, haven't I made comments to some of your postings that you realize I didn't even understand your posting totally? Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was seeing something else. Mm -hmm. Kind of like I came tonight distracted because I just worked with someone who was grieving, right? right? So, you know, my brain was there. So make sure, since we're here at the same time, if I go off on a rabbit trail or go off in the wrong direction, don't be embarrassed to say, hey, 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 Farinelli, listen, <laughs> listen better. Okay, Thank you. so that's part of communication. Yeah. You know, I mean, that doesn't hurt my feelings. You know, I've been around long enough, my ego is okay. So what you can do, if I understand your question correctly, is this. You could easily go back and look at that posting or that service learning project or any other thing that you did and say, hmm, what could I add to this? You know, where can I tweak this? Maybe change a sentence or two, or maybe add a reflection. That's always the easy way. Mm -hmm. Reflections are magical because you can go into a reflection and say, oh, and in doing this assignment for this, it reminded me of my other class. So if I took what I did for this class and communicated it well to my stakeholders, then it would also improve communications for my PR class. Makes sense. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay, did I yes. give you the, that little that little spark? You know, all you need is what, what writers call a conceit. It doesn't mean that you're conceited. It's a whole different meaning. Conceit means the kernel of an idea that you can then take and make your own. So how would you say that, what I just tried to say to you? Well, I would say that I could, and my understanding is that I would take this one project and just tweak it just a little bit so that it would relate to public relations or vice versa. And remember, PR is all about communicating, both listening to and sharing good things or sharing critical things with all your stakeholders. Right. So if you come up with some ways to share, if that project that you did in the other class is something that you think needs to be shared with your fellow teachers, with students, with administrators, with parents, with community members who you want to support the school? Now, the, the project that I did was actually about a backpack program. Mm -hmm. and, and implementing it, we did include um, visiting with, with community members, um, religious leaders, mm -hmm. administrators. So could that already? It could, and you could even maybe even do that even stronger. Okay. I, I remember your project very well. Okay. Okay. You might be able to do that even stronger, more strongly, I guess, if I'm trying to make an adjective ad. How do we do that? Strong. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Come on, English major. I need your input here. <laughs> you could do that with added strength. How about that? You could do that with added strength by perhaps just adding a reflection and saying, and now I could again communicate maybe a thank you letter. Mm -hmm all those who participated or maybe uh, a little do y'all have a, a school newspaper yeah we do a newsletter yeah what if you did a little uh, 
press release okay. in the newsletter just saying, I want to thank all the people who helped with this, and in the future when we do that, anyone else who wants to help in the future, and just tell them, you know, share with them again why that project is so good and what it means to your educational program and what it means to kids and how much the people who helped meant to it doing its maximum good for kids and okay. for the educational program and inviting more people to help okay. out. That's how you enlarge it. Yes. Good. You see what we're doing here? Perfect. See, I'm taking your ideas, you're taking my ideas, and we're feeding off each other. That's called synergy, right? We take our inner, our inner, our into our individual energy and we make it through interpersonal communication no let me get the right word for Gardner's <clears throat> Gardner's multiple intelligences from your undergraduate education intrapersonal intelligence mm -hmm. our intrapersonal communication between each other our interpersonal communication within myself how I talk to me right right am I doing that right or did I get it backwards again <laughs> okay. Putting me on the spot. I'll go back and review my gardener notes. <laughs> so you can tell. See, I told you I'm distracted tonight. Yeah. yeah. When you when you're dealing with people who are so sad, sometimes it's hard to get all chirpy and happy again, right? Right. Okay. So, um, will that be enough for that idea of yes. how to make that a twofer? Yes. The um. My other question is that it talks about... Um, now we're still talking about the yes, service it, learning project yes, in PR about, and yes. you had already you already completed the service learning project in fundamentals. Yes. And you're thinking that that one would be a good one now to take and communicate even better to your right. stakeholders so right. it could be a, a twofer for both classes, right? right? I think that's a great idea. Do I... It talks about the standards for leadership. Do I need to add those at the top? I mean, think, you know, yeah, if, if you want to cite your standards, that's going to help you tremendously when you get to your internship class. Okay. Now we're talking about a threefer. Yes. <laughs> and, you know, if you do, um, if you do a, a, a service learning project that relates to the curriculum, the whole curriculum program that you're going to do, that you're going to try to improve when you get to internship, mm -hmm. then you can make all these things work together. Okay. And we'll talk about that in another segment. Okay. So remind me, make a little note. We're going to talk about what Dr. Ron Cambiano likes to call the big picture. Okay, That's his, his term. I'm going to steal his term. But how to be you know, very much what uh, some people call being global. Right. Trying to, or, or what, uh, what's the guy that does the 12 habits? Uh, Covey? Mm -hmm. what, what he talks about having the end in mind when you begin. Right. You know, okay. That's being global. Okay? Yes. So did that help? That helped a lot on that. I always ask, you know, one of my little Farinelliisms is I like to ask, did I make the water clearer or did I just muddy it up some more? No, much clearer. Okay, much clearer. Okay, yes. so we can stop this segment and move on to the next question then, right? Yes. Okay.